And tonight, that little girl is recovering from serious injuries at a local Norfolk hospital. Rescue crews had to work for hours to try to free her from the boat. Thursday afternoon, rescue crews raced to Lynnhaven Pier trying to save that child and untangle the 12-year-old's leg from two boat propellers. Rescue crews found her leg trapped between the steel blades. For more on how this child is doing, let's go to Surrey Crow live at Sentara Norfolk General. Surrey. Tom, in fact, there's a Nightingale helicopter landing right now, and that is how this child arrived here at the hospital yesterday. Tonight, we're told she is undergoing additional medical treatments for her injuries and that her family is close by. I'm sure very grateful that their little girl is alive. It's the kind of situation most grown-ups would cringe at the thought of, but a 12-year-old girl, her leg trapped between vicious blades of metal, held her own, and it very well may have saved her life. The girl was a trooper. That Even the seasoned rescue crews who raced to her aid were taken aback by the horrible scene. And it sucked her leg straight in between the front one and the back one, and then the blade was inside of her thigh. Police say the child had been tubing with friends when the unimaginable happened. As rescue crews worked feverishly trying to free her leg, she wanted to know that she wasn't alone. Once she had the trust that we, she knew we weren't going to leave her, then she started to calm down. Still, the child, thankfully wearing her life vest, bobbed up and down in the water as the waves washed over her. Rescue crews administered oxygen and an IV as the underwater rescue continued. She was a tremendous uh, girl. I, I don't know how she did it. She didn't complain until we started moving the prop to get her out and we explained to her that, hey, we, we have to do this to get you out. After 98 long minutes, a little girl and her leg had been saved. I'm free, I'm free, she said to her rescuers. Well, you could see because the patient was still conscious when she came out of the water and uh, conversed and she recognized her family. You could see the care providers, just a burden was lifted off of them and you could, they actually showed just some heartfelt e emotion. That's right. Speaking with these rescuers today, I can tell a lot of them were very touched by this rescue. Uh, one thing to point out, she was wearing her safety vest, and the rescue crews say that was an integral part of their ability to save her and her leg. Live in Norfolk, Surrey Crow, 10 on your side. He had some uh, wave issues there, so that really did help, thank goodness. Police tell 10 on your side that while this case is still under investigation, it will likely be ruled a tragic accident.